Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mouse Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now, you guys may remember it's been a little while since I actually have played The Hunter Classic due to my Great One grinding on Call of the Wild. However, I decided I really wanted to get back to The Hunter Classic and something I basically have been looking for since I started playing has been a 200 plus scoring mule deer. They are one of my favourite species in the entire game. I think the typicals look awesome and the non-typicals look crazy. And yeah, this basically is going to be a video about looking for my 200 scoring mule deer. Now, I had to include this little guy at the start of this video just because he was so weird having that drop tine almost the same size as one of his antlers. And it's just always funny to me with Classic and how the true, ra true racks work that you can get little bucks like this that have those insane drop tines. Definitely one of my favourite things about the game. And something else I just had to include was this little clip here. Now, it's not the best quality, I don't think, because of the um, sort of recording previous footage thing, but it, I just had to include it because it is so weird. I was walking up the river and I encountered this very friendly group of Rocky Mountain elk cows, and they just didn't spook. And so I hit record to get my normal recording software, like, recording properly. And it's funny because I accidentally hit the whistle key and then they all spooked. But from everything I've been told, normal animals, like anything that isn't a bird, should not respond to a whistle in this game. So that was very strange. Also, I have put up a few new stands. This was the result from one of my new stands. And I think this one could be quite a good one for in future. And this is not all of the animals I saw. Um, and it's not even all the animals I shot. I had a couple that were lung, lung shots that ran away. But yeah, this was a, a, a few from maybe like 20, 30 minutes of actually being in this stand. Not very long. Um, just here. This is one of my new stands. And it seems to be really, really good for mule deer and elk. So I'm really hoping that this stand might produce something good in the future. And I was getting calls constantly. Just every single time I tried to do something, I was getting calls from this location. And I do just really want to say quickly, if my voice sounds a little bit different today, it is because I am a little bit under the weather, so I do apologise for that. But something happened when I was at that previous stand that I just showed you guys. I thought that all of the animals had finished coming in, I wasn't getting any more calls, I wasn't seeing anything. So I jumped down to collect all the animals I had dropped underneath me, and I spotted what looked like a hu huge mule deer buck spook. And me being me, I couldn't just leave that because if I had left it, it was going to be the one buck I was looking for. So I tracked it for a ways and actually found it must have been a small group of bucks. And as you can see, there was two pretty decent sized ones. However, the one I was really interested in was that um, 9, 190 to 240 buck. Because with that estimate of 190 to 240, he could score potentially you know, into to the 200s. And at this point, I wasn't particularly bothered about getting a, you know, really monster, you know, 220s to two, 240s buck. I just want something to break that 200 mark, finally. Because everyone told me that getting a 200 mule deer would be really easy in comparison to, like, a 200 whitetail or something like that. Well, I have had absolutely terrible luck with getting a decent sized mule deer. I still haven't had one that is, that has broken that 200 mark at this point. And I was just so hoping that this buck could do that. Because he, with that score, he's only got to be 10 above his minimum and he'd make it. And I was just crossing on my fingers that he would take a couple of steps forward so I could get a shot on him as he came through these trees. And it was a bit of an unfortunate situation that they were all tucked in these trees like this because mule deer travel in groups and as you can see there's a couple of bucks fleeing and unfortunately I couldn't spot every single one you know before taking the shot because of the one that was getting closer to me and I wanted to make sure I dropped this one before the whole group fleed. But I did manage to drop that 190 to 240 buck and going over to him I was crossing all my fingers. I knew it was the same group because you could see there was my highlighted track back there that I'd been following. I don't know whether this was the buck I saw spook. I have to guess that it probably was. Um, but it was from that group. 
and walking over to him, he looked like one of the biggest ones I've ever had. Like, the biggest I'd had at, up to this point was like a 197. And this guy looked really good. He looked pretty wide. His times weren't particularly long, though, so I was questioning whether he would make it. And picking him up, I saw the weight, which looked quite low, and yeah, 193. So not anywhere really near where he needed to be. He needed to be quite a bit bigger to actually make what I was looking for. However, I did decide to take just a quick trophy shot, just because I didn't know if I was going to get anything better. And of course, I need something for the thumbnail for this video to show to you guys. I then moved on and I found this 185 to 235 estimate mule buck and again I was just hoping that he would be big enough and at this point I wasn't sure if this guy was any kind of size at all really. This is actually at that stand where I had all of those dead animals led at the bottom of and I just saw that he had that estimate that went over 200 and so I was hoping that he could potentially just make it by some stretch of luck. But you can see I've already downed a decent sized elk bull and there's another mule deer buck underneath me. There's just so many animals that have come into this stand and I could see there was another buck moving in the background as well while I was waiting for this bigger buck to come in. So this stand does seem to be particularly active for, like I said, mule deer and elk. I've had one wolf come through, um, but nothing else really. So I'm really hoping, like I said, that this could be like a good little crossing point between where those couple of little lakes are. It seems to just be absolutely crazy with animals. But this nice buck came and stood under the stand, so I managed to take him here with the snake bite bow. And I line my shot up just to get into the centre of the back and drop him on the spot. I do tend to go for that shot quite regularly. I like that shot sort of on the spine. It goes normally down into the lungs slash liver and it drops him on the spot. And that's always what I'm looking to do when I'm hunting from the stand. I try to minimise what is spooking and what is running away. But looking at this guy on the ground, he didn't look bigger than that buck I showed previously. But I actually managed to get spine and heart and he just was a 190 buck. So just again, 10 points short of what I'm looking for, for that 200 for the lodge. And as I said, I'm just looking for to get that baseline 200 so that I can then improve upon that. And using some of the trophy shot poses, I managed to again get a rather nice trophy picture of this guy. Not particularly special, but just a nice buck, and definitely the nicest buck that I took there. I then went again to walk along the river and had this group of mule deer bucks coming in to one of my calls. Now this particular buck, the 142-190, was a nice looking buck, so I decided I would hit record just because I didn't know if I was going to get anything better on this hunt in particular. And uh, basically what happened was not what I was expecting. So I kept calling because again, mule deer bucks tend to be in groups of four or five. And I always want to try and make sure I spot every buck so that I know I'm not missing out on a huge non-tip or, you know, some kind of giant typical. But they all seemed fairly small apart from that one decent buck here. Now I decided that I'd wait until they were coming across the river and this is just such a cool sight to see just a group of mule deer bucks like this. This is something that makes classic really fun to me, sights like this. It's the same as when I had the two pumas come in, it's really cool. But I put a shot in him there and he did run a little bit, he actually ran over the top of me and he didn't go much further because he dropped just behind me there. But this one buck from the group seemed to get a little bit confused and get stuck running in circles. So I didn't know whether he was going to continue doing this, so I decided I'd throw a couple of pop shots at him. I had more than enough ammo to actually spare, but I was struggling to hit him with the scope, just not quick enough. And seeing as he was still stuck in this animation, I decided I would actually um, put some more bullets in and take the scope off. I went completely into the wrong slot there, I wasn't thinking straight. But took the scope off and thought, well, I'm going to surely be able to hit it now. I managed to pull off quite a shot. <laughs> that was a headshot whilst he was running, which is perhaps one of the better shots I've taken in Classic. So I thought I'd include the, this clip purely for that moment. So not a particularly massive buck, but decent amount of GM and just a cool little circumstance there. 
but we'll just pick up that and now pick up the bigger buck which is here in the water and apparently I hit that in the hip bone and nothing else I don't know how but a 179 scoring so the smallest uh, of those decent sized bucks that we've seen so far now for this one I really quickly had to hit record this is another 190 to 240 buck that came out of the trees as I was calling to see if there was another buck with that one that you may have just seen running away in the river and I guess this guy was probably part of the same group and just came up through the trees rather than through the water and again he looked pretty decent and I was just crossing my fingers but only a 196 scoring buck a nice buck and obviously something that I would take over the smaller mule deer bucks any day and they still look great and again just a quick trophy shot but not the buck we're looking for but just a decent amount of money that these guys give then again, just a little bit further along the river and off of the river a little bit, I spotted a pretty big looking mule deer buck just grazing away. He was quite near to a pack of wolves and he had an estimate of up to 235. I didn't think he was going to crack 200 but it was a decent buck that I wanted to take nonetheless. And I was going to take a rather long shot here but it just didn't give me an angle that I really wanted to take with the 9.3. So I decided that what I was going to do was kind of look at where he was, mark his location and then sneak around. But you can see there's a bear here and there was a whole pack of wolves and of course the wolves will spook them. So that's one of the reasons I did debate taking that longer shot. And I decided that I'd include the whole stalk for this. So I won't talk the whole way through it. I will come back when I've actually shot the animal. But that's just to give you guys the information of what was going on in this particular situation.
and I managed to drop him there finally. I completely forgot that I had a call on me that I could use to try and get that buck to turn around there as well. Um, I was just completely not thinking straight with not feeling well. But eventually remembered that I had the call, got him to turn around and just dropped him there with a solid shot. And he looked really nice. I really particularly liked the colour of his rack. And this is something I really like about Classic, is even if an animal isn't like a trophy calibre animal, whether it's for you personally or just in general, they're always really kind of nice to look at, especially the deer and the deer models. I love them. The mule deer look amazing. These just giant looking bucks. Every single one that's actually decent size just looks great. But that was an intestine and stomach shot, but a 197 scoring buck. So getting tantalisingly close to actually being the score that I want one to be. And another quick trophy shot, again, just to give me some options for thumbnails. And after all of that on Timber Gold Trails and just so many, like, letdown bucks, um, I decided that I'd head to Logger's Point, which is the other map that has me all there. And I spawned in at my tent near Middle Tower, and I actually immediately picked up a max weight track from a group of mule deer that I apparently spooked. And I trapped that for a little while, couldn't actually get to spot the buck, but I ended up kind of heading towards Middle Tower anyway. So I decided I would sit up there and see if I could actually get it to calm down and come into a call. And instead of the max weight one coming into a call, that giant looking mule deer came in. And he looked bigger to me than any mule deer that I'd seen up to this point. I had to quickly deal with this tiny look looking little white tail. But I managed to drop him with the snake bite so that wasn't a problem. But I just wanted to get this big guy in a little bit closer so that I could drop him with the 9.3. And I didn't want to like take a longer shot and then have to track it for a long time because I didn't have the time at, at that point to go and track something for ages. But 195 to 245 estimate, I was so, so hoping that this could be the buck I was looking for. I noticed that he did have like a couple of stickers by the looks of it. Definitely one on his right antler. And I knew that that would actually deduct a little bit from his score. So... Again, I was hoping that it wouldn't be too much and he would just crack the 200 mark to give me that baseline buck I was looking for. But looking around, I didn't see anything else other than this one other tiny mule deer buck and a couple of white-tailed does. There just didn't seem to be any other activity. And I was just double making sure because I didn't know if another one from the group might have come in or, you know, anything like that. And before taking a shot with the rifle, I just wanted to be sure. But this guy's tines look longer than any of the other bucks that I've shown in this video. And I was just really excited to see this guy coming in. He didn't look very wide, but I was just hopeful that he would make it. And I managed to drop him there with the rifle, as I said. And um, walking over to him, you can actually see where I'd been tracking the mule deer on the hunter mate with uh, all those little X's. But just a really nice looking buck on the ground. He looked really big and I picked him up, good weight, and he was a 200.0393, which is literally pretty much as small as a 200 as I could have gotten, but it's a 200. To see that 200 come up was exactly what I was hoping for. Just something on the board for decent sized mule deer, something to, you know, I can improve on this now. I can go and look for a 210, a 220, a 230, maybe even a 240 one day. And this is just really nice to finally sort of have cracked that curse of not getting one. And it was funny because I even had someone remark, oh, you might have had an easier time getting a 200 if you went on Timber Gold Trails. And it was funny because I spent so many hours on Timber Gold specifically looking for a 200 mule deer and I've had no luck. But coming to Logger's Point actually gave me that that one buck that scored right that is exactly what I was looking for. So of course I had to take a trophy shot of this guy and knew that this would be the one in the thumbnail. But I thought that he was just about the right size that it wasn't a guarantee. So you guys wouldn't all, all like know for sure if he was a 200 hopefully. So yeah, 
But I'm just really happy to finally have one. And like I said, it's something that I'm going to look to improve upon. I know he's not a monster, but he's my first 200. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys again soon.